making a couple templates for the longitudinal floor pieces that I have to make. I'm prepping this piece and I got it clamped together because this one I doubled up. It's going to be smaller than the others. And the reason it's smaller is that I want to leave room for the anchor to be able to fit in here. So it'll be a bit lower and then my spade anchor is going to sit right across here. So I just take my template and trace it onto my core material and then cut it out with a box cutter. I've put some thickened epoxy just where foam meets foam for these floor grid pieces. So I'll let that go a few hours and then I'm going to come back and do the thickened epoxy nice radius fillets. This gap here, the chines, when the chines are put on, it's another panel going you know at a higher angle there it'll meet that longitudinal piece there
There, you all lined up over there. Mm -hmm. Where I've clamped this thin piece of wood. No glue on there, it's just temporary. This should give perfect alignment on the transom because the cockpit floor is going to be just like this. It's going to be on top of this beam. So we're going to epoxy this in there and uh, not only will it be part of the kind of combing of the cockpit but it'll also really help to strengthen up this structure. So if somebody comes by and accidentally kind of shoulders this, they don't crack anything. I've got to cut off these vertical transom supports so that the cockpit floor can fit here. Cockpit floor is going to be just like this. So let's see. Mark it here. All right, folks, it is 10.06 p.m., November 20th, Saturday night, uh, 2021, in San Diego, California, and I am done for the night with epoxy, and it is mwah, beautiful. I love how this turned out. I was a bit nervous when you saw me putting on those half-inch wide strips, um, just because there wasn't going to be any um, fiberglass in the middle unless I did that. So I did uh, one, two, three, four, and I was worried, you know, it's going to be sticking out, but all I had to do was put some fiberglass over here and on each of them, and it just turned out beautifully. And um, let me show you the rest of what I've done. I love the way this turned out. I got the um, vertical supports for the transom here. And then I put in these sections along the center line, the uh, spade anchor will be able to lay along this way. There's room for that. I added in some cloth on here and here, and this piece sticking out that's just begging to be broken off, I added another strip on it that'll help strengthen it up till I get the chines on here 
and um, I don't have to worry about whacking it anymore. And I got these longitudinal supports in. So the aft cargo space is mostly done. I can start to move forward. So thank you for the support, everyone, and the positive comments. Keep it up. I will see you in the next one. Mr. Bordon, let's make all preparations. We're getting on the way. That guy sure likes to carry things. Hey, uh, what's your name, buddy? Oh, man. How do we get back to your station? Or I'll have you shot from a mutineer. Well, shoot something. Yeah.